What do you mean by a GTO? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome back to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So let me ask that obvious question. What do you actually mean by a GTO? Well, let's find out. So GTO is the abbreviation given for Gate Turn Off Thyristor. Gate Turn Off Thyristor. So from this, you have to understand that this particular GTO is a type of thyristor. So what basically do you mean by the term thyristor? Well, a thyristor is a four-layered semiconductor device which has got alternative P and P and semiconductor layers. So if you're drawing a thyristor, it would look somewhat like this. So it has got four layers like this. And it has got alternative P, N, P, N semiconductor layers. So therefore, it has got four semiconductor layers. And here, it has got three electrodes, an anode, a cathode, and a gate. So these are three electrodes seen in the case of a thyristor. So here, this is the anode, this is the cathode, and this is the gate. So this, therefore, is the basic structure of what you refer to as a thyristor. So now GDO is basically a thyristor that can basically function as a fully controllable switch. Here the on and off condition of the switch is controlled by whatever signal we given through the gate. That is why it is given the term gate turn off thyristor. So that is the basic idea behind what you refer to as GTO or a gate turn off thyristor. So the following is a symbol given for a gate turn off thyristor. So this is the first symbol. First it will have two arrows like this, where this is the gate. So this is the first symbol of a GTO or a gate turn off thyristor. And the second symbol looks somewhat like this. Here just one line goes like this towards the gate and there is a slash like this. So these are the symbols that are given for a particular GTO or a gate turn off thyristor. So now let us see the actual structure of a GTO or a gate turn off thyristor. So here the structure of a gate turn off thyristor is somewhat similar to a normal thyristor. So here we saw the structure of a normal thyristor which consists of four semiconductor layers that has got alternative P, N, P and N semiconductor layers where this was the anode this was the cathode and this was the gate. So this is the structure of a normal thyristor. So the structure of a GDO or a gate turn of thyristor is somewhat similar to this. Okay, so I'll just expand this and draw it over here. So I've expanded this figure and drawn it over here. Okay, so from this figure we will construct what you refer to as a GDO or a gate turn off thyristor. So here, the first thing that we do is the doping, okay. So the doping, the anode must be connected to a P plus type of semiconductor material like this. And the cathode must be connected to an N plus kind of semiconductor material. So therefore, what happens here is that this layer goes off, this layer goes away. And this N plus layer comes over here like this. And the cathode is moved from here and it is placed over here like this. This is the cathode. Okay, that is the position of a cathode. So therefore then over here another P plus kind of semiconductor material is placed. And therefore the gate is moved from here to over here. And the doping of this layer is made of an N minus semiconductor material that is lightly doped semiconductor material whereas these plus regions are heavily doped semiconductor materials. So therefore by bringing forth this particular change to the doping as well as a small minor modification to the structure we can obtain a particular GTO or a gate turn off thyristor. As simple as that guys, as simple as this. So therefore this particular GTO is turned on by providing it with a positive gate pulse. When you provide a positive pulse at the gate, this particular GDO is turned on. And subsequently, it is turned off by providing a negative gate pulse 
at the gate terminal that is by providing a negative pulse at the gate terminal we can turn off this particular gdo so therefore this does is how we turn on and turn off this particular gto or a gate turn off thyristor next let us now see the iv characteristics of a gto so let us plot the iv characteristics of a particular gto so in the reverse bias condition when the voltage is increased a small amount of minority current is present like this okay and when it reaches the breakdown voltage a sudden outburst of current is seen like this and a huge amount of current flows in the case of when breakdown happens so that is what happens here in the case of reverse bias condition but in the case of a forward bias condition when the voltage is increased a small minor current is seen like this 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 this, this until a value referred to as vfb which is referred to as the forward breakover voltage this voltage is referred to as the forward breakover voltage so once it reaches the forward breakover voltage it is at this point that we can choose whether we want this particular gto to act as an on switch or an off switch okay so in the case of an on switch a positive pulse is given as an input to the gate signal so therefore in that particular condition a turning on process happens like this and therefore current starts flowing like this so therefore this does is what you refer to as a turning on process by applying a positive gate signal or a positive gate pulse okay so now this is the turning on process so here let us assume at this point you want to turn this off okay so at this point if you want to turn it off a negative gate pulse is applied and therefore it reaches here and therefore a minority current flow is obtained again so this is the turning off process and this is done with the help of a negative gate pulse so this gate pulse over here is 1 by 3rd or 1 by 4th of the anode voltage so what you can observe from this is that once a particular gto is turned on as a switch it can be turned off just by giving it a negative pulse at the gate terminal so therefore this thus is the iv characteristics of a gto so therefore this is the sums of what you refer to as a gto or a gate turn off thyristor so in this video we first saw what a thyristor is and how we can modify the thyristor to obtain a gdo which acts as a switch then we saw the symbol of a gdo and then we saw the characteristics of a particular gto or a gate turn off thyristor so i hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a gto and we will be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned stay subscribed until next time i'll see you guys in the next video thank you